Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about how to pay your taxes when you are trading Forex. Okay, so I had, uh, I had uh, a number of students come up to me to ask about, uh, about paying their taxes related to Forex. Now, you see, the thing is that uh, this is a bit of a grey area, right? I feel this is a bit of a grey area no matter which country you come from, right? So I'm from Singapore. Right by right, capital gains is not taxable in Singapore. Right, taxable uh, capital gains meaning uh, gains you made from investments. Right, and this investment income has to be less than your monthly income. Right, so but when I'm trading when I'm trading forex full time, that becomes your full time income. Right, so. So this means that uh, you know if you have no job income and you're making your income 100% from Forex, Forex becomes your primary income and then you need to pay taxes on that. So what do I do in this situation? All right? So you know that uh, you know when, when, when you are trading and then you lose, the government keeps quiet, right? The tax man keeps quiet. Nobody's going to come collect taxes from you when you don't make money, right? It's only when you start making profits, ha, huh, that's where the tax man comes knocking on your door, right? So what I do is whenever I transfer money back to my bank account in Singapore, I declare my taxes, okay? So for example, this year I withdraw out $100,000 accumulated over one year, right? Let's say I withdraw $100,000 into my Singapore bank account. I would declare that I made $100,000 this year, all right? And, uh, well, but, but I, of course, I'm not going to declare the money that I withdraw into maybe my Malaysia bank account or my Hong Kong bank account, you know, because those money didn't come into Singapore. So I'm not going to pay any taxes on those money that I made from you know, that I transferred into my accounts in other countries, all right? So, I, you know, like I said earlier, Forex is a bit of a gray area, right? I, and I feel that my income is the money that I transfer back to Singapore. So I'm willing to pay taxes for that, right? But money which is still in my trading account, money which is in other accounts overseas, I don't declare that, all right? So, uh, you know, I, I'm not saying that you should do that. It's just my way of doing it. And, you know, if you have a... If you have any other guidelines that you want to share with me, I'm more than willing to, to, to listen as well. Alright, so that's all for today's topic. Uh, remember to like my Facebook page and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.